Welcome viewers, Winshear here. I want to talk about the best gun in the game. <laughs> you guys have probably heard me say that before. Uh, it's been a while since I've said that. But uh, no, for real this time, guys. Uh, the ACWR with the suppressor attached. Uh, you know how much I like the ASVAL. That's my number one gun in the game. You've seen me just dominate the battlefield with that weapon. You know, that PDW is a great gun. But I want to compare this weapon to that weapon because, again, that's my favorite gun in the game. But let's talk about the best gun in the game, um, and I'm gonna ball some stats in here, which you know, uh, you know what we think, of, you know what I think about stats. But uh, you know, we gotta we gotta pay attention to stats too, guys. I mean, they say a lot about weapons, and you can't just discount stats for everything. But yes, am I saying the best gun in the game? And and for some reason, I'm not seeing people use it. Uh, you know, I put out a review of this weapon, guys. Uh, I gave a glowing review of this weapon. I get, I'll still stand by it. Watch this clip. Uh, What's this gun going to do right here? Drop it like it's hot. That's what this gun's going to do. I mean, it's just going to put down everything. A close range, medium range, long range, it doesn't matter. Um, this gun is beast mode on. Big time. Times two. Times three. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm going to have to say this is the best gun in the game. And a lot of you guys are probably laughing right now. So you're nuts, which you're... No, no, no. Well, I got the stats to back it up, guys. So, well, you know... Simtech.com is a great website. Uh, it's a, I encourage you to go in there and take a look at it and check out the stats. Compare this gun to any gun in the game, even your beloved M16A3. And what's this? We see all the stats. Is it time to kill actually... what? Uh, I don't know. It, just take a look at it. it. And you'll see this weapon goes <laughs> hand in hand with an M16A3 and the time to kill is pretty impressive with this gun um, on that website. And I'm getting a little bit off talk because I want to compare this weapon to the AS Val. What you're watching right here, guys, is a 20 kill streak. I pretty much go flawless on this match. Um, and I really like a suppressor attached on this gun. In my review of this gun uh, before, I, I encouraged the heavy barrel because that's what I like on all guns. But I'm finding out the more I use this gun, I'm like, this gun feels like a PDW to me. And uh, that reminded me, I'm like, wait a minute, this, this feels so much like the Val in a lot of ways. Like a lot. Specifically, how the Val used to be before they nerfed the crap out of it, and just you know gave it recoil like nobody's business, which I'll talk about here in a minute. So I'm like, if this feels like a Val, that the, one of the greatest benefits of the Val was its was its stealth capability, and so let's put a suppressor on this thing. And yeah, OMG, boys. Uh, I mean, not only does the suppressor give you a st stealth capability, but it pretty much eliminates what whatever recoil this gun had, and cuts it down even more. Um, and I've also have played this gun with and without a grip. You'll see clips of both here. I, I don't think it really needs a grip. It seems to be just as effective with and without a grip. But, yeah, suppressor, absolutely vital with this gun. Even, you know, after they've, quote, given all the aimed accuracy penalties and all that stuff, I just don't notice it. You'll see me, uh, and I've, I've had numerous clips where I just make incredible range kills with the suppressor on this gun. Like, it's not even on the gun. I just don't even notice it's there. Um, but... I want to talk about the stats in this weapon, and in particular the, the AS Val. You know, again, I'm number 70 in the world with AS Val. I'm extremely knowledgeable about that gun, and I know what it's capable of doing. But one of my greatest complaints about it, and again, they really messed with it a lot after the patch, is they increased the spread on that gun for when you're moving. They've basically increased the spread multiplier to 1.5. Now, your average gun, like an M16, the multiplier is 1, so you probably don't really notice that much. But um, with AS Val, it's 1.5. I mean, it's 50% bigger than your average weapon. Now let's talk about this gun. You want to know what the spread multiplier is with this gun? 0.75, gentlemen. 0.75. That's incredible. I mean, it's literally half the amount of the AS Val. It's lower than any other gun, pretty much that I've reviewed, taken a look at statistically. Um, and that's a game changer, boys. Uh, you, when you look at stats like that, that those that one stat's probably fundamentally one of the most important in the game, you know, next to recoil. But it, it, it basically changes the fundamentals of how you handle the weapon. Because whenever you see me run clips with AS Val, and don't get me wrong, I've have, I've had I've had some glorious moments with AS Val. I'm, I'm reminiscing here, but um, whenever you see me use AS Val, you, you you really watch me. If you watch me closely. You'll see me waste a ton of bullets with that gun, and the reason why is because most of the time I'm running and gunning, I'm playing aggressively, and I'm just not really, 
uh, used to the fact that I have to, you know, I have to stop. Really, if I want to, if I really want to get all my bullets on target with the ASFL, I'm supposed to come to a complete stop and stop moving. And then it, it pretty much has a zero multiplayer. So when you're, when you're dead stopped, like you're sniping, basically if you're playing sniper type tactics, there's the end of that glorious 20 kill streak. But if you're using like sniper type tactics with ASFL, you'll find that that gun's extremely accurate and uh, almost unbeatable in that situation. However, you know, when you're playing aggressively like I like to a lot of times, uh, I'm finding myself, I may have to make a conscientious effort to stop. Another thing I'm guilty of doing, it's a bad habit I've had, I've, I've mentioned this before, is that a lot of times I have a tendency to aim and move simultaneously. Uh, as a, or, or at least what I'm trying to say here is I try to aim by moving as opposed to aiming my weapon. It's kind of a, you know, ass backwards means of doing things and it's a bad habit. But it really gets me in trouble a lot of times with AS file. With this gun, it's much more forgiving in those types of situations. And I don't know if you guys have that problem or not. So again, aiming down sight spread, absolutely critical with this gun. Hands down, the best in the game uh, in terms of that. Now, the other thing, and this is the other huge, as if that's not enough, uh, let's talk about recoil. You, you, the recoil on the AS file, again, after post-patch, whatever patch it's been, it's right now currently is 0.4 recoil, vertical recoil. That's that's a bucking horse. That's up there, you know, you're talking, uh, that's above, I believe, M16A3. I mean, that's that's up there with assault rifles, uh, and then some. This weapon with the suppressor attached is 0.17. 0.17, guys, did you hear me say that? So 0.17 versus a 0.4 recoil, vertical recoil, that is literally two and a half times the recoil the ASFAL has over this weapon. Uh, so if you can't get bullets on target, you, you ain't doing nothing. Um, you know, I like a little bit of recoil, and there it is. You know how I roll, boys. Uh, I like a little bit of recoil on my weapons, but .4, I'll admit, it's, it's a bit much. And there's nothing more aggravating than kind of having to pause your shots. That's the reason I don't like the M16A3, is because I feel like I have to pause my firing in order to let the recoil settle down, and then for me to resume firing. So that's kind of a big criticism I, I uh, attribute to the, the M16 and where they as foul is, is having to wait. I cannot stand having to wait for my the muzzle of my weapon to drop before I can re-engage a target. That's, you know, times everything in this game and that, you know, point whatever millisecond that I just, you know, wasted waiting for that drop to happen. Or maybe I just, you know, shot the rest of my bullets in the magazine uh, away so now I'm out of bullets. You know, uh, accuracy is everything in this game, guys, and uh, having a weapon like this that has literally no recoil, and yes, uh, I'll give you the fact it has a limited magazine capacity at 27 rounds, and that, that's a big criticism, but still, 27 is a respectable amount. Um, I mean, it's more than what the ASFL used to have, you know, prior to its extended mag capability. But in these type of situations, if you get a headshot, uh, in close range situations, I'm still firing 850 rounds a minute. I have an incredibly fast reload time of, uh, I mean, under, what was it, like under two seconds, empty, uh, I can't recall, it's fast, let's just say that, guys, it's incredibly fast, I'm incredibly, I'm, I'm always comfortable firing my weapon, killing a guy, instantly reload, I don't care if I'm in the middle of action, it gives me a second of pause, and I can still, still do it quick enough to be a threat, you know, even with multiple enemies around me, right there, I just chewed through, I don't know, four or five guys, just right in the middle of the action, you, you know what? crazy this North Shore Canal area is. But again, with having that suppressor on, nobody knew I was there, so I was able just to drop all those enemies, catch them off guard, use the element of surprise, and uh, capitalize with the capabilities of this weapon. Nice long-range engagement there. That was a sniper I just dropped. Uh, yeah, they only know what's hitting them a lot of times. Now I've mastered this weapon. I'm very comfortable with this gun. Uh, it's... it's Yes, it is weak. Um, you know, talking about the damage again, uh, you know, when you compare this to like the AS Val, um, you know, it's doing on average 20 damage uh, is uh, basically the max damage on this gun. The AS Val, I believe, does 20 to 22 minimum damage. This gun's doing, you know, the absolute lowest it'll do, I think, is 16 compared to the AS Val's 18 damage. That's nothing to write home about, guys. You know, two damage isn't going to do nothing in the grand scheme of things. And, you know, I know you compare this, you talk about your. Uh, you, know, you talk about salt class weapons doing 25 damage and all that. Yes, that's an, a, it's certainly an advantage in terms of bullets. But again, compare this weapon statistically. And you look at its time to kill. This weapon's superior to the AS Fallon time to kill. Um, 
you know, reviewing the M16A3 from what I saw, it's actually superior to that, which I found incredibly hard to believe. But uh, I'm not so sure about that stat. But um, using this gun, that's what I've, you know, that's more important than anything. Don't be afraid to pick up support class kits, guys, if you're running low ammo and restock your ammo if you don't have any in your, in your squad that's uh, support. But using this weapon as much as I have, I've got several hundred kills now with it. I can say with confidence, even though I've got you know, over 4,000 kills with ASVAL, that this weapon and this loadout is superior to the ASVAL. Um, I, you know, I kind of, uh, whenever I'm running and gunning with this gun, I'm getting these incredible kill streaks. And, and I mean, this is just a short amount of clips I compile here, guys. I've played matches where I'm consistently getting a minimum of, you know, 12 to 15, 20 plus kill streaks with this weapon, um, comfortably. And I don't feel like I'm ever running out of ammo. I feel like my bullets are on target. I'm dropping enemies quickly. And my bullets are counting for something. I feel like I'm just not wasting half my ammo. I don't know what my accuracy stats are on this. I don't, I don't look at that too closely. But I'm just saying from my perspective, it feels like this weapon is really deadly in the right hands. Uh, and again, like a lot of weapons, incredibly uh, underappreciated. So that about sums up the, the stats on that weapon, this weapon, comparing it to several in the game. Um, again, the horizontal recoil on this weapon, it's it, it's already less than the AS Val, but uh, you know you can you can throw a grip on it if you like. I don't think it's really necessary. I think that you don't need to take that aimed accuracy penalty. But in terms of this being a game-changing weapon, I still think it is. I you know the best gun in the game. I'm gonna have to say yes, and uh, I'll probably draw some criticism for that, but. You know, a lot of these guys, you're just really impatient a lot of times with the, with the weapons that you use, but if you try this gun and you give it a good shot, you'll, you'll believe me in the long run, trust me. It's, this weapon is incredible. Hope you liked the video, guys. Please please like and subscribe to the video if you enjoyed what you watched, and I'll have more to come, and probably a lot more gameplay with this type of weapon. Thanks for watching.